are so excited that you're joining us for Bridge Kids at Home. Here at Bridge Kids, we are passionate about helping you meet Jesus on your level. And that's why we wanna help you know the verse, talk to God, and make a difference. You're gonna be able to hear a great Bible story and dance along to a really fun worship song. So let's jump in. to say. I really don't. I, I don't. I don't. We are walking into a web of destruction. An opponent that knows no constraints on their ruthlessness. But it isn't me that has to go out there and do the job that needs to be done. No! It's you. Yeah, it's you. And how are you going to do that? You are not going to give up. You will never give up. And you will grind them down bit by bit, inch by inch. And on this day, we will give it everything. Because we, we know that when we add up all those fingertips and all those little inches, that is going to make all the difference. The difference between winning and losing. So, what are you gonna do? I can't hear you. Are you ready to go out there and give it all you got? See, that's what I'm talking about. Now let's go knit with grit. Come on, ladies. One, two, three, yarn. And men, men can knit too.
Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And welcome to The So-and-So Show. And what have we been talking about this month, Brandon? Grit. That's right. Grit. What is this? It's grit. You know. Uh, grit. G, 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 A, B, C, D, F, G, G. Grit. Small, loose particles of sand or stone. Keep reading. Oh, definition number two. Refusing to give up when life gets hard. Great. That's, that's the one. Oh, huh. I can't believe you brought in a whole bucket of grit. Well, I mean, yeah, I've got a lot more. I've got a, I've got a pyramid of buckets, Brandon. Are you kidding me? Where did you get all of this? Yeah, I just dug it up from outside the house. What? Yeah, it was there, so I don't see why not. Uh, Lawson, that can really mess up the foundation of a house. Ah, that's just a myth. What was that? Lawson, I think, I think the house is sinking. No, no, it's not. No, it is. We're on a little bit of an angle right now. No. uh Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> See? Huh. Well, I mean, you know, we, we have all this grit. We might as well do something with it. Yeah. It's time to make grit castles. Mmm, gritty. All right, here's how the game is played. Brandon and I will each build our own grit castle. Then we'll decide who's his best. Grit castle building starts now. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, you really stuck with it? Yeah, I did. Double grit. All right, who do you think won on the count of three? Shout out your answers. Ready? One, One two. two. Uh, uh oh. Ah, my castle! No! No! Ah. My grit! Lawson! Huh? Ah. I'm really glad we glued everything down back there. What? It's fine. I think it just leveled itself back out. Okay, bye, Brandon. We have got to fix this. Or we could play a game, Star Wipe. Uh, okay. Skating seems like a terrible idea. Well, I mean, we already have a hill, so let's do some downhill roller skating. Right, what about this table here? Well, it's on wheels, so I wonder why it's not moving. Oh, right, the brake. Ah. Hang on. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> ah. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Ah. 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 I win. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Yeah. Hello. Tell us who you are and what you know. Hi. Guess we're not doing an interview today. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, must keep going. I think we may have a problem. Oh, you think so? Then what should we do? Uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, hey guys, um, listen, unfortunately something has come up and I can't be with you all today, but don't worry, everything's fine. And I don't wanna leave you all high and dry. So I asked my good friend Cameron and he's gonna take over for me today. All right, take it away, Cameron. 
Hey, fellas. Whoa, what is going on? The basement is sinking on one side. What? Why? Long story. <laughs> he dug up the ground from underneath it. Why? Don't ask. Great. Oh. Hey, you think you could take it away and we'll see if we can get this fixed? You sure? Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Whoa! Ah! My leg. Our story today comes from the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus tells of how God rescued the Israelites from a life of slavery and protected them, even when things looked incredibly bleak. And here to help me tell the story today are the So and So Show players. Last time, we talked about how God sent plagues of frogs and darkness and flies and other terrible things until Pharaoh finally told the Israelites to go. And that's what they did. Every single Israelite left Egypt. They followed a man named Moses, and he was led by God. God showed up as a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. Wherever you lead, Lord, we will follow. <laughs> Hey, 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 Moses, what's up? Uh, so, uh, we have been walking through the desert for a while. We're having a great time. But I was just wondering uh, where exactly we were going. We're following God. Yeah, right. The cloud. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Uh, we are uh, approaching the Red Sea. Right, and uh, you know, it just occurred to me, we didn't bring any boats out of Egypt. Oh, <laughs> crazy. So, you see my issue? The Lord will continue to show us the way. Yeah, all right, cool. Great talk. I feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. Um, no disrespect, God, at all. But this does seem like a pretty odd way to escape Egypt. <clears throat> Have the people camp out here near the Red Sea. Pharaoh will think. The Israelites are wandering around the land. They don't know which way to go. The desert is all around them, and he will chase them. And I will gain glory for what will happen to Pharaoh and his whole army and the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. All right, I'll trust you. And it happened just as God said it would. Pharaoh did let the Israelites go, but then he changed his mind. Mm, why would they go? Why would, why did they leave like that? Why did we let them go? Who's gonna do all that work for us? Oh, no, 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 guard, guard! Guard! Don't! Get my army together and get 600 of my best chariots. No! Go! 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 So the Egyptians left to go find the Israelites, and it really seemed like things were out of control, like the Israelites had nowhere to go. But God had a plan. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Moses! Uh, so... Totally not a big deal, you've got everything in control, but um, there's a whole big group of chariots that are chasing after us. Friends of yours, I imagine. Yep, that's the Egyptian army, all right. That's the Egyptian army, all right. What? What? Did you lead us out here to die? Well, I... Mean, I... What, what, were there not enough, enough graves in Egypt, huh? I mean, it would have been better for us to stay in Egypt and die than it would have been for us to come out here into the desert and die. I hear you, and your complaint has been lodged. But seriously, don't be afraid. Just hold on. The Lord will fight for you today. Just be still. Okay. Be still. Be still. Go. <clears throat> be, be still. Psst. What? It's your line. Be still. Huh? Oh, um, <clears throat> um, uh, hold out your walking stick. Raise your hand over the Red Sea to divide the water. Then you all can cross on dry ground. Uh, yeah, right. Sure, of course.
Whoa! Moses lifted his staff. Then God made the wind blow all night so that it created a wall of water on the right and the left with dry land in the middle for the Israelites to walk on. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Everyone, let's cross! The Israelites crossed the Red Sea on dry ground. When the Egyptian army arrived, they followed the Israelites through. Come back to me! Come on! When the Israelites had reached the other side safely, God said something else to Moses. <laughs> Last one out. That was cool. Reach your hand out over the sea, and the waters will flow back. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Our Lord did it! Hooray! The end. Give it up for our so-and-so show players. <laughs> oh, looks like you're back to normal. Oh yeah, I just dug a hole on the other side and it all leveled out. I'm not sure if that... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> the Israelites, they had to have been scared. Absolutely. But God was still in control, even when things seemed hopeless. And that helped them hold on and refused to give up. See you next time. Later. Bye. So you know, today was a little wacky. I'll say. And it's hard to stay focused when it doesn't feel like everything is quite right. Yeah, we all have times in our life when things feel out of control. In fact, reveal the question. What feels out of control? Maybe things feel out of control because you just moved and you haven't made new friends yet. Uh, maybe you're not able to understand a subject in school no matter how hard you study. Uh, maybe your family is going through some tough stuff and it just doesn't feel like it's ever going to change. Yeah, or maybe your house is sinking. Life can sometimes feel like it's out of control, but thankfully, we have friends and family and a God who loves us and has a plan to one day make things right. God is in control. Yeah, that's great to know. So, talk about it together. What feels out of control? And we'll see you next time on The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. show. Uh oh it's happening again. No, it's not. I'm, I'm feeling fine. I'm fine. You feel it was like, I it's feel like nothing. a tremor all over. I'm immune to this. We're rocking back and forth. I think my internal gyroscope ah. is so much better oh, than no. yours. Ah. Bye. Ah. My grit! Ah. 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 We have got to fix this. <sighs> Tell us who you are and what you know. Uh -huh.